Hey, hi, how you doing? This is the Gamertron, and welcome back to the Gamertron Show. Who doesn't love freedom? Isn't it damn awesome? Being able to do what you want, when you want, as long as it doesn't hurt other people, for as long as you want to. The freedom to be who you are, the freedom to be who you want to be, the freedom to believe in what you want to believe in, the freedom to be free, and this is the United States of America, gosh darn it, and wait, no wait, this is Canada, this is Canada, gosh darn it, and it is your patriotic duty to love freedom and be free and be the free man or woman that you are, in the name of freedom, gosh darn it, okay. Okay, let's tone it down a little. Let's tone it down a little. My little patriotic rampage is over with now. So let us begin with the actual intellectual, intriguing conversation now. About freedom, gosh darn it! <laughs> well, more specifically, freedom when it comes to video games. Because, believe it or not, realize it or not, freedom is a big reason why people love video games. I mean, why do you think open-world sandbox video games are so popular? Why do you think RPGs are so popular? Why do you think shooters and action games that give you a ton of variety and choice are so popular? Why do you think open-world sandbox RPG shooter action adventure video games are so darn popular? To provide some examples, Far Cry, Grand Theft Auto, Saints Row, Mass Effect, Dragon Age, Skyrim, Fallout. Why are these video games so critically acclaimed? Besides the fact that they're damn good video games. Well, it really has to do with the amount of freedom offered in these video games. The freedom of choice, the freedom to go and do whatever, whenever, wherever you want to. It's because as human beings, psychologically, and it's in our nature, we crave freedom. Why do you think video games that are very linear, that have a lot of corridor elements to them, where you can't move around so much, you're usually moving in just a straight line, why do you think games like that nowadays are panned? It's because they lack the certain freedom found in other games, and when a game has a lack of freedom that another game possesses, the gamer is usually disappointed or even disgusted that that video game doesn't give them as much freedom as they want. Why do you think the term on-rails shooter has become one of the most hated and despised terms in the industry and in the community? People nowadays absolutely despise on-rail shooters because it has little to no freedom. In an on-rails shooter, you have to shoot specific enemies at specific times in order to get a high score and progress. In a game like Fallout or Far Cry, or Crisis, or Grand Theft Auto, or Just Cause, or Saints Row, or Battlefield, dear god, there's a lot of games. If you play one of those games, and then all of a sudden play an on-rail shooter, one of two things is going to happen. You're either going to be bored of the experience, or despise the experience. Because after playing a game that gave you so much freedom, and allowed you to do whatever you want, but then playing a game that has little to no freedom is actually very, very restrictive. That's a major turnoff to people, that's a buzzkill. However, if we were to go vice versa and you were to play an on-rails shooter first, you might actually kind of enjoy the experience, see the casual, easy-going fun with it all. And then if you were to play a game like Fallout, Far Cry, yada yada yada, right afterwards, you would love the latter games even more. Because after playing something so restrictive, then playing something that takes all these restrictions off, takes the shackles off the player, and lets you play the way you want to play, do what you want to do, when you want to do it. When a game gives you complete freedom, you can't help but love the damn thing. Human beings, people, crave freedom. They don't like being restricted. They don't like being told what to do. I know, I'm a human being if you didn't know. It's in all of us. It's a part of us. It's primal. Freedom is primal. It's instinctive. To be our own person. And one of the best things about video games is, well, they're a video game. They're not real life. And when a video game provides you with freedom, the ability to literally 
do whatever you want, whenever you want, without the consequences of morals, of law, of hurting other human beings, of actual physical or emotional damage to yourself. When you take realism out of the equation but keep the freedom, it's a power trip, and people love power trips. All we, everyone loves a power trip. It's one of the reasons people love video games, and they love open-world RPG action games. It's why people love Far Cry, Grand Theft Auto, yada yada yada. I'm, I'm not going to keep naming all these games over and over again. You know what games I'm talking about when I talk about these open-world RPG action games. And that's why they're so critically acclaimed. That's why they're so beloved. Because they provide choices, variables, replayability, variation, variety. They put the players in a playground. They give them some tools, and depending whether or not this is an RPG, they give them story choices, which can have drastic dynamic effects on the world around them. And again, that invokes a power trip, the power trip of freedom, of believing and feeling like you're free. And that's a big reason why people love video games. I know that's a big reason I personally love video games, but hey, that's just my opinion, that's just my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know in the comments section below. Do you love video games that give you freedom? Do you think freedom is a big reason why people love video games? Do you think I'm full of crap? Let me know in the comments section below. I love reading comments. I don't get nearly enough comments. Please leave a comment. If you enjoyed the gameplay shown in this video, if you enjoyed the discussion, my opinion, if you enjoyed anything and everything, please hit the like button. Hitting the like button helps me, helps you, helps everybody involved with the video if you hit the like button. And finally, I am the Gamertron. I love video games and I love talking about video games. And if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to my channel and supporting me. Anyways guys, this has been a video and I will see you guys later. FREEDOM! I just had to say that.